All right, we have breaking news right now. Authorities in Wilmington are giving an update on the truck explosion. Let's listen in. Propelled with CNG or compressed natural gas. So there's two 100 gallon tanks on that vehicle, one of which exploded while our firefighters were putting out the fire. That explosion was significant. The ball of flame was as high as these telephone poles and it actually uh, did explode one of the transformers nearby. Uh, tragically, that explosion injured at least seven of our firefighters. So we rapidly triaged them, treated and transported them to a local hospital. Two of them are in critical condition as we speak. We then had set up uh, fire line tape, as you can see behind us. That is to uh, have an isolation area to ensure no bystanders can come into any harm themselves. As you all know, we just asked you to move back another 500 feet. That's because that second CNG tank has yet to fully expel. So it's still off gassing and therefore there's a minor threat. We also have our hazardous material specialists who are on scene, who are performing air monitoring, and we're happy to state that there's nothing uh, abnormal in the air right now. This remains a static situation, and any bystanders are, are not in harm's way. Obviously, our, our heart and concern are with, uh, remains with our dear firefighters that suffered some significant uh, traumatic injuries, and we are going to have an updated press conference at the hospital. Hopefully, within the hour, we'll get back to you with that. Um, do you have any questions at this point? What is the strategy now, sir, in terms of dealing with this? What are you going to do? Are you going to let it burn out? So the, the question is, what's the strategy in dealing with this? So we've called for waves of additional firefighters. Additionally, we had uh, approximately 12 firefighters on scene to handle a routine auto fire. Uh, now, do this due to the significant uh, nature of the explosion, we've called for all these additional waves. That's why you have hazardous material specialists behind us. So what we need to do is just deny and isolate entry for anyone coming here. We have hose lines in place, and we're going to put out that off-gassing uh, little bit of flame that remains there. It will naturally then dissipate into the air, and there won't be any hazard to nearby people. So fortunately, this is going to remain a fairly static situation here on scene and we're going to transition towards the hospital. So on that one container, the one that we have the it's, it's gas is passing out of this. It's, it's being depleted of the gas that's in there? Correct. So these are about 3,300 uh, pounds in these 100-gallon tanks. And again, there's two tanks, one that exploded on our firefighters, the other that has predominantly off gas at this point, but it's not completely uh, done at this at this time. Yeah, the question is, do we have an update on the driver? Um, we're trying to determine what that uh, update is. We don't have anything at this point. Whether Also, we don't know for sure if that vehicle was, was moving at the time of the fire or not. So the surrounding circumstances that led up to this tragic incident are still too new. Um, we're going to comb through the debris, and we're going to talk to witnesses and pull any surveillance camera and really determine exactly what led up to this incident as well. We're a driver like this. Is the driver okay? We don't know. Would a truck like this have to be labeled uh, that that material CNG was on board? And do you have any idea if that was a factor when firefighters arrived? Do you know if they reported that this was a truck carrying compressed natural gas? So the question is whether the truck was placarded or labeled. So yes, there is placarding on these vehicles. I don't know on the specifics of this one. Um, but then that is something that we will take into consideration in our firefighting operations. We don't, I don't have those specifics for you, but we'll find out by the time we do our, our full press conference. So we don't have information on the driver at this time. So yeah. Correct. I, we, we, it's unknown at this time. We're going to gather that information. Obviously, we had a, a small mass casualty incident, tragically, of our own members. When you have over seven patients, we had to quickly uh, start to triage them, determine the most uh, severe and uh, get them transported for more definitive care on scene. So thank you for your patience. That's all the information we have now. We'll update you in reference to the time uh, for the press conference, which we expect to be uh, hopefully within an hour. Thank you. Yes, in Spanish. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.